everybody, it's your buddy Aaron. Welcome back to another video. Today, something pretty exciting. We're gonna be doing more body work on the G35. Um, as you guys can tell from the title of this video, here we got them. We got the Duraflex fiberglass fenders right here. Something I really wasn't happy about when I got the fenders delivered to my house. Unfortunately, the fenders did come damaged. You know, when they don't put as good packaging in these boxes and then, you know, FedEx just kind of throws them around, they're kind of prone to have these little chips and damage and scuffs. So I did get little chips and damages and scuffs, but one thing I know about uh, any type of aftermarket body body panels or anything like that, you're going to need to do some more modifying once you get them. You're going to have to sand them. You might have to bond to them in certain areas. You're going to have to drill through them. You're going to have to modify them to make them fit your car. These body panels are not always perfect like the OEM Nissan or any other OEM parts. So you're always going to have to tweak them a little bit to make them look good. Luckily, I already went through all the bullshit and I've already fit one fender on there. So I'm going to show you guys right now. So check it out guys, this is my very first time ever fitting any type of aftermarket fender on the vehicle. Um, I, I tried my best to get the best possible um, line down the middle, uh, trying, to, trying to keep the same amount of space between the fender and the door as much as possible along this curve. Um, it took a lot of sanding down and filling with Bondo. It's really not perfect, but with where this car is going to be heading in the future, it's not necessarily going to be a show car because I'm going to be beating the crap out of it. So I just want it to look semi good to where at least I'm happy with it. And I'm pretty damn happy with that. Up here on the line, this was the most difficult part. This was actually like way up here. I had to grind down a lot of it. I had to use my Dremel um, and then I had to use Bondo to fill up a lot of it. There's still some tweaking I'm going to have to do with this side. This side's got to be pushed down a little bit um, so it's nice and even and flat with that. Um, there was a huge crack right here. I tried to fill it, but once I fit it back on the car, um, the crack started coming through again. So I'm going to be doing a little bit more filling with that. All along here with the hood, the hood line is almost perfect. I'm really, really happy with the way that the hood line came out. It looks almost, um, it really is just as close to this fender, if not even better, because this fender also sticks up a little bit. My most favorite thing about this is it is a little bit wider, but not necessarily a wide body kit. Um, I think it's only like half an inch wider, if anything. But you get some nice, cool little vents here, which is pretty dope. This car was in an accident before, so it's really difficult to kind of get the fender to line up perfectly with the headlight. It lines up really good right here and right here, but starting to get up to here, the headlight pokes up just a little bit more. But up here is perfectly flush, and the headlight is also pretty flush with the hood. Damn, look at those brakes, man. Look at that shit. Oh. So now that I have this passenger side panel on, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I did to fit the panel on, and I'm going to be doing it over here on the driver's side. Check out the dope little addition, the little toolbox that we got for our little one car garage. It fits perfectly, it's a vertical toolbox, so I, I got all I need right here. Instead of having everything spread out and taking up more space, this works out perfectly. I got this little crap table that I'm gonna get rid of. I'm, I'm gonna eventually build my own bench, but I'm probably gonna do it back there in that corner, and I'll probably show you guys that as well. But there's some parts that are hidden in that back corner that I'm not gonna show you guys yet. You're gonna have to wait until the next video. No, but really guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the car right now. We're gonna go ahead and start removing the fender and uh, get started. Let's do it. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is remove the fender. Here's where all the bolt locations are. The first one is gonna be underneath the bumper. Once you remove the front bumper, you're gonna see one bolt right here. Come on the top, you got one, two, and three right here. You got your fourth one right here. Your fifth one is gonna be right here underneath the cowl. You're gonna have to remove this black cowl. Number six is right here. Go ahead and open your driver's side door. Number six is right there. As you come on down, you got seven and eight down here that are underneath the rocker panel. So once you remove the rocker panel with a couple 10 millimeters and some clips, um, then you can get to the two bolts that hold in the fender. Then you've got the wheel weld that has one, two, three, three screws. <laughs> Right, guys check it out so I removed most of the bolts uh, on the bottom of the rocker panel just to pull the rocker panel down just enough so I can get to the two bolts that are for the fender now I'm gonna go ahead and loosen those two bolts and the fender should come right off should 
All right, guys, so now that we have the fender in and we have it removed, what we're gonna do is try to test fit that fender over here. We're pretty much just gonna put it in place with no holes drilled and try to see where we can fit it and line up the spots where we need to drill. Before I move all this stuff away, I've got sandpaper down here. We got 60 grit, 120 grit, 320 grit, 800 and 600. The harsher grits are gonna be for taking off like the larger chunks and then sanding it down finer and finer until it's a nice smooth surface. Some chunks on here like this are gonna have to be filled up with some Bondo, which is just some body filler. So we're gonna mix that up, go ahead and fill that, let it sit for just a little bit. Uh, sand it down and then prime it. So we got some primer right here. This is gonna be at the end of everything. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and sand down even more. Just do some wet sanding um, with the 320, the 600, and just make everything nice and smooth at the end. Let's get to test fitting. All right guys, check it out. So from afar, it looks pretty good, but when you get up close, you're gonna start seeing all the little details. You see the fender looks pretty good with the, with the headlight right now. Um, I'm just holding it on with my hand right now. And we take a look at the first bolt hole, you can already see right through it. So it's gonna be real difficult to kind of drill a full on hole right there. It might just, it might just have a half hole, but we do have a full hole that we can drill on this side right here. The lineup right here is a little off. Right here is not too bad, but right here, I'm definitely gonna have to fill in some more. You can see way, way deep in there. Coming over here to the door, definitely gonna need a lot of work just like the other side did. Um, if I hold it down all the way, it's nice and flat, level perfectly with the door. The only flaw is you can see all these different curves and lines. It's really skinny right here, really wide right here. I'm gonna start making some markings um, after I get some drillings going. So the first thing we're gonna do is drill all the holes to, to match it up good with the hood and the headlight, first of all. Then uh, we're gonna come over here and start working working this side. So I'm gonna make marks of where I need to shave it down and where I need to fill it so that it can be nice and even. With the one bolt in place, it gives us kind of an, a place to start. We can see that the body lines are way too wide over here and get skinnier and skinnier as we come up and then end up touching here. Um, you can see it's way too far right here, um, maybe just right right there. I like the gap between here and the mirror, but coming down, it gets way too wide. Um, you can see right inside the door. So I'm using vice grips to clamp the fiberglass kind of structure that holds the headlights um, to the frame. And as you can see, it pushes it closer towards the engine, I guess. So, so that gives me a little bit more room so I can move the fender up a little bit more. Check it out, guys. I got it lining up almost perfect with the other side. Everything's nice and flush, nice and flat with the hood. Come over to the other side, it's literally the same length. Once I have everything fastened in place, I'm gonna start making my marks where I need to shave, where I need to fill, and then we're gonna go from there pretty much. All right guys, so we got the fender all mocked up. Everything's looking real good. All the bolts are drilled. Um, now there's just one little piece over here on the A pillar that I do wanna focus on. We got this big ugly crack in here. Um, I think I wanna bring the same approach that I did with the front bumper to repair this. We're gonna have to drill a pathway right through the crack so that we can fill it with that Bondo filler over there and then go ahead and sand everything down, make it nice and smooth and then it'll look good with the dip over it. Yeah, so I totally lost all of my audio on this video, so I'm gonna try to lip sync it. Let's do it. I wanted to give a huge shout out to my boy Rodney. We call him Hot Rod over at Margate Auto Body and Paint. Super awesome guy. No, for real guys, go check him out. If you guys are in the local area, Margate area, definitely hit him up if you guys are trying to get your headlights or taillights retinted, clear coated. He does it all. He'll make them look perfect. He did my headlights for me. He did my taillights for me. You guys see the awesome work. Hit him up. All his information is right here and down below in the description. If you guys are gonna see him, make sure that you let him know that I sent you you and he'll hook it up for you guys. All right, boys, just clean that up with some alcohol. I'm gonna let it sit, let it dry for a little bit. I'm gonna mix up some Bondo, come back over here. We're gonna start laying it, flattening it down, sanding it down, and then we'll get started on the fender.
All right, guys, most of the Bondo is done for most of the small areas, and then um, pretty much half of it is done for this area. I still have to sand down most of that. It's very rough and nasty right now, um, but once I sand it down, it'll be a lot more smooth, and then I'm gonna apply more, um, and then I still have to do work on this area right here. Oh, there goes my pink handkerchief, okay. <laughs> All right guys, just gonna fill you in on what's going on right now. So we just put the fender back on to try to test fit it, see what's going on after we did a bunch of filling and sanding. Um, we're really close with the body line now. Um, it's it's starting to get even, it's just very uh, it's very rugged and rough and not um, completely um, to, the, to the top of the surface. So I'm gonna have to fill in some more and sand down some more for sure. Um, but definitely have to smoothen up the line that comes up. Um, down here we got our Bondo tabs, if you guys can see them. The two tabs down there, one right there, and one right there that we do have to drill through so that the fender can be held to the car. I'm gonna go ahead and drill those holes and then start doing my markings and measurements to see where I need to shave and continue filling. Just as well as up here, I will have to fill in some more up here. Bondo has been one of the most pain in the ass things to use on a car that I've ever ever had to deal with in my life. It's it's just, it gets everywhere, it's annoying to work with, it breaks, it chips, but it really does a good job at filling where, where you need it to fill, and if you need to, you can shape pretty much anything you want. I was able to extend this fender out a good half an inch with this Bondo, and it is pretty strong, just as long as I don't like hit it or chip it or, yeah. Will I ever use Bondo again? Yeah, I probably will. Will I want to? Definitely fucking not. Quick update over here on the passenger side fender. You can see that I went ahead and drilled out the entire thing here. I put some metal mesh in there uh, and then went ahead and filled it. I do have to do some more sanding. Um, and then over here, there's a little crack that I went ahead and filled as well. So some more sanding right there just to get everything smooth on this side. Um, other than that, the line on this side, everything fits really well. I love the way that this side came out with the headlight, the way the hood is, everything. Just gotta sand that down and fix that. So let's get back to work. Guys, we are finally finishing up with fitting and bonding the fenders on. I didn't have a chance to go ahead and prime up this fender, but you guys can see that this fender is nice and primed up, nice and gray. Still got to do a lot more sanding just to kind of smoothen out the surface, but you guys get the idea. The fenders are fitted. We're looking, I mean, we're looking okay. Still got a little bit of adjusting to do. Just want to pull that down just a little bit, make that gap a little wider. Um, coming over here, we do have a little bit of cracking right here. As you leave the, the fender on the car and let it sit in the sun, it kind of adjusts to where it needs to sit. So uh, you might see these little cracks down the road, but nothing a little sanding and filling can, can't can fix. Although these fenders did come damaged and they were a pain in the ass to repair, I did get some money back, I did get a killer deal on them, and I got a lot of experience out of this. I'm really happy that you guys are following me along with the journey of this car building it up. I'm having so much fun and I'm learning a lot doing it. I got a couple things planned for you guys in the next couple of videos, but I want you guys to decide what the next video is gonna be. Do you guys wanna see more body work on the car or would you guys like to see another performance mod installed in the next video? 
or two. Let me know down in the comments. I'm super stoked. Please make sure you smash that like button. If you guys are new to the G35 build, make sure you hit that subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram if you guys have any questions. Let me know, guys. Take it easy. Yeah.